Hey guys, Martin here from The Loan Room. We've just shot an amazing video about should you buy one investment property at maybe a $600,000 price point or two? To find out the answer, make sure you check out the video. Today I wanna to talk to you about, as an investor, should you buy one more expensive property or two lower priced properties? To me, investing is all about the numbers. So a common question we get asked is, hey Martin, around where I live, I'm looking to spend maybe six or $700,000 to buy an investment property. Then someone else will come in and say, Martin, we've thought about doing that, but we wanna maybe buy two investment properties at $300,000 each. Again, this is all about numbers. If I look what I personally do, I'll tend to buy the lower end and buy two or three properties where someone will only buy one. But let's look at those numbers on a typical investment and let's have a look how that return is. So let's assume you're someone who said, no, I wanna buy one bigger property and let's just pretend that property is $600,000. Now, I'm in Victoria, so if you look at a typical return in around this market for a property that is $600,000, you may get $400, to $450 per week in rental income. Now, most people, and I'm gonna use most people because most people tend to not necessarily do the numbers correctly, would actually think that's a good return. However, you're not even getting 5%. Then, when you take out the costs of actually holding that property, you could still be left with a negative result. Just because interest rates are at all time lows, it doesn't mean that a lower return on the actual property is gonna be a good long-term investment because it might cover most of the cost today. Right? An alternative approach would be this. Open up your horizon. We live in a global economy. We live in a national real estate market now in Australia. You don't just need to look in the state that you live. It's time to start to look abroad. Look into other areas, other states where they may be getting better returns, population increasing, and the government doing different types of spending that's gonna shoot that economy up. You see, it's so easy to fall into the trap that you're thinking, if Victoria's like this, if where you live is like this, so is everywhere else. And it's actually not true. So let's look now at a different example where what if you had bought two properties at $300,000 each? Well, let's look at those numbers. So we've got the total same money spend, but here's the difference. Typically speaking, a lower priced property, not a worse property, but a lower priced property will attract a higher yield because there's more demand for that type of property, especially in certain areas. So what I'm finding, because this is what I personally do myself, is here, you may actually get $350 per week, times two, $350 per week on that same return. So that's over just just over a 5% rental yield compared to this one down here. So yes, you're gonna have double the costs and double the outgoings, but you have double the rent. So if you look this at a basic overview, you buy one large property at $600,000, let's just say you get the upper end and you're getting 450 a week rent. Compared to buying two properties at maybe a lower end and you're getting $700 per week rent. That's a $250 a week difference, or just over $10,000 a year. I know which one I'd be choosing. The next question is, Martin, but where those properties are located, we're not gonna get the capital growth. Well, I don't know if you've been hiding under a rock or not, but so many regional areas, so many areas at the moment are growing and they're growing so much faster than the cities. Listen, it doesn't matter the price of the property. If you've done your research, you know what's happening in that particular pocket, where there could be new hospitals going in, there could be new schools being built. Infrastructure creates jobs. So just because these areas you may not be aware of or you think because someone at a barbecue told you those areas don't grow as fast, is actually completely incorrect. I would suggest find properties like this that's gonna boost your cash flow, and if you buy them in the right spot, you're also gonna see tremendous capital growth to help grow your portfolio. So here you've got one property growing, here you've got two properties growing, and you're getting double the rent. Guys, this is important. 
Now, so there's certain circumstances based on tax, based on other factors that you may opt to do this, but maybe that's because you're in the anomaly where your income is extraordinarily high and you have different amounts of capabilities. So, as always, it's so important to get your numbers right. It's so important to check with the professionals. And if this is you, if you're not sure of which way to go, make sure you reach out to us here at The Loan Room. We'd be more than happy to walk through some maps and some plans to show you which idea may be beneficial for you. Hope to hear from you soon. Take care.